Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is today's look. It is a Halloween look, obviously, because you wouldn't go out wearing this in public, but it is just a cat look. You know, whatever. But yeah, if you want to see how I created all of this, then keep on watching. My hair's like this because I'm wanting to do a, like, a cat. Um, Halloween tutorial because it's super easy and quick and da done, you know. Like, so I'm gonna try and do that before the sun goes down. What time is it? It is 4 46. Um, I have been um, struggling to get things done with a sick three year old, so today he's just not long gone to sleep. I did my hair actually? No, I was doing my hair halfway through him falling asleep on and off. Finished, I just did the front of it and then he's asleep so. I thought I'm going to come in here and film now that he's asleep even if it is late I can stick my lamp on and it'll be all good but anyway so I've got these ears I got them the other day and I thought I'm going to do a cat tutorial because it's super easy and it's quick and it's not gory so if you don't like gory stuff he's like to be like cute and ooh. but you can be with a cat and I thought I've got a high neck black crop top but if I was doing this I would wear like all black so it's a quick and easy thing so if you don't have a costume you haven't picked out anything you can easily do this fine cat ears there's cat ears everywhere lately like these are from Kmart um, so from Australia Kmart has these at the moment and heaps of ones not just lace ones there's all different types of lace ones and like rhinestone ones and everything um, and everyone has everyone could easily find a black shirt and leggings so it's super easy so I'm going to start off doing the eyes. So I just want to go for a really nice cat eye. I'm going to bring it in on the inner corner a little bit to make it more pointed. And then winged it out and lots of lashes. So that's what I'm planning on doing. So I'm going to start with the eyes. They're pretty simple. I'm not going to like go too dramatic with um, what I'm putting on. I might, I might like just define the crease a little bit but not too much. So to start off with I'm going to go in with my concealer and just conceal my lids. And I'm going to use the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. I'm just blending that out with my finger. I'm just going to use the um, Crystal Sense Reveal 2 palette and I'm going to go in and just lightly put the pink shade all over my lids just to um, set that concealer so I'm going to put the transition colour and, um, and help define the crease a little bit it's not going to make it go all patchy so I'm just taking this uh, Jessup Blending brush and just taking into the crease this transition shade here, the one that I've hit pen, the one that's in the middle of the palette that I really like it's a cool tone, cool tone light brown this is really nice I enjoy using this colour and just putting that in the crease so you're planning on doing like a pin up style cat eye <laughs> cat look I think that look pretty glimmerous a very glamorous kitty. Not your everyday domestic cat. So just building up that crease as much as you want. Um, I'm not sure how defined I'm going to make it yet. But I know I just want a bit of colour in there just to add a little bit of definition to the eyes. I am going to put a shimmery shadow on the lid as well. Just to add a bit of extra glam. Now I'm just going to take this shadow here on the left side of the palette and just put that over the top of there just a little bit further down into the crease now. Just want to deepen that up a little bit. You know what? I think I want to make it a little bit, bit more warm and deeper. So I'm going to go in with that shadow, uh, shadow that shade, shadow, yeah, whatever you want to call it. put gold on the lid. I might just be going a little bit far with this but I think I'm going to put gold on the lid. So I'm going to go in with this gold here and put that on the lid. This one looks good. I'm going to use this whole palette to do my eyes and just show you that you can do it with an affordable palette. How good. So I'm going to go in with that gold shade right next to that first trans transition shade I used and put that in my put that on my lid. First I'm going to just wet my brush with some water and you know what, that's not a deep enough gold for me. A dark enough gold, I mean, it's pretty pale. Okay, because that's not dark enough, I'm going to go in with the next gold shade. 
and that is right on the end here. Okay, so now I'm going to do my wing liner, I think. So I just use the LA Girl eyeliner in a very black, gel liner in very black. I'm not going to bring it in the inner corner yet, I want to wait until after I've done um, my foundation or my concealer on that and then do it. And I have to put my wing down further and like kind of like straight out because my eyes, where they crease, they crease kind of here, like the crease comes down to here. So unless I'm walking around like this all night. Um, my crease is going to be hanging over my eyeliner and it's going to like cut it off so I make sure I bring it down a little bit just to suit my eye shape so you do your eyeliner the way you normally do your wing liner and just suit it to your eye shape do it however you please So I'm going to go and do my foundation, I'm going to use two body, 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 foundation, body Shop foundations, these are the fresh nude foundations, one in vanilla, Bali Vanilla 020 and one in Sahara Light 030, so 20 and 30. Okay, so now I'm going to go in, um, conceal and highlight under my eyes and forehead, chin, all the usual areas. I'm just going to go in using this uh, Zoeva concealer brush, concealer buffer, it's a 142 and it's a fake one off of AliExpress and just going to help blend that out a little bit before I go in with a bigger brush. So my brush I'm going to use to help blend that out a bit more is just the Expert Face brush and I'll just pat that in. For one of my eyes I'm just going to go in and use this brush. Now that's done, I'm going to go in and do, um, bake that and set all it all, it all in and then I'm going to do my brows. So I'm just going to take a rectangle with a little cosmetic sponge and bake that. Just make sure you have no creasing on there or else you will bake the conce uh, creasing. And no one wants that. Okay, so that's while that's um, baking in and setting everything, I'm going to go in and do my brows. I'm going to use the um, Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade in Soft Brown. And I'm going to take it on an angled liner brush and do my brows. Do your brows however you want to, like this. Doesn't matter how you do them. Just do your brows the way you want them to be done. Okay, so that's my brows done. Now I'm going to go in and put a highlighter shade on under my brow bone. And I'm just going to use this the first one from the Coastal Sense palette. It's just a white shimmery shade. And just put that under the high point of my brow. And then sweep it over both sides. So I'm going to go and do my mascara and lashes off camera. I'm just going to use the Rimmel Scandalize Extreme Volume and Length Mascara. And I'm going to go in and use these uh, cream lashes. They are 805s. And they're just nice and thin on the inside and then thick on the outside. Well, not thick, but really long on the outside to help bring that cat eye out of shape. But I'm going to do that off camera just because um, it just takes a long time to do. So I just went and I put lashes on. And then... I started doing the inner corner thing. Well, I did the inner corner and then I realised I wasn't filming. Um, but it's super simple. You just get eyeliner and just two, two, two little triangles and then you have got yourself a nice inner corner. Okay, so I'm going to just quickly contour using the Anastasia Contour Kit. I'm just contouring how I normally would. And 
And for blush, I'm just going to use the same thing I always do, and that is uh, the... Not always do, but I have been lately. The Face of Australia Blush in Primrose. And just on my... What is it? Sigma Large Angle Contour Brush. So I'm going to use the Anastasia Glow Kit in that glow, and I'm going to use what I have been using to do my um, highlight for a while now, and that's the um, Cos BH Cosmetics all over face brush. I don't know, maybe. I just use um, Golden Bronze and Dipping Dipping in Gold for that. Okay, so sorry about the harsh lighting. I've got my really dodgy ass. Um, lighting the lamp put behind the camera so if it's super harsh on my face that is why but the lighting lighting the Sun sorry about that it's the chair but the Sun has really 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 gone down now there's only a tiny bit of light and when I came back in from sorting Kayla about it was too dark to really see what I was doing and get a good good get a good view and make it look nice um so I put the camera there the lighting and it's a hundred times better than what it would have been um but it is washing me a little bit like you can see the highlights though so that's all that's that's good um but i'm gonna get stuck back into it and do it now i don't have to rush doing it now because i still have all my hair and that to do so okay so now i'm gonna do my nose and lips and all that okay so i have a australia's villa lip um lip cream in melbourne a black and i've had this for a pretty long time probably about four months now and i haven't used it just because um, I hadn't got around to doing something with a black lip, but now I have got something to do with black lips. So I'm going to do, um, so what I plan on doing is doing a black top lip and then just a nice, nice fresh pink bottom lip. I'm not too, sh not too sure what I'm going to use yet, um, but I'm going to do my top lip now. And also I'm going to do the whiskers and all that with gel liner. But I thought I'll do my lip and that gives it time to dry. I'm just going to take this small little eyeliner brush. This is actually a little tiny painter brush. But I'm going to use this as what I used to do the inner corner part of my eye. And I'm going to use that to do the nose. I'm just going to get a white eyeliner. And I'm going to map out where I'm going to put my little nose bit. I'm thinking this is going to be easier just in case I make a mistake. It's going to be easier to get rid of. And so I don't know if you can see the white or not. It's just a very soft little love heart. Sorry about my nose. Um, but I haven't made it so... It's too pointed or there's like a straight line I've kind of done in the between just because cats don't really have that much of a love heart nose they're very flat really um, so that's the kind of shape I'm going for this kind of looks more rabbity but maybe once I've got the whiskers and that on I don't know maybe the cat once I've got the cat ears on maybe once I've got the ears on it will look better I'm actually not going to make it too round on the sides either, I'm going to change that. I'm going to make it more... More pointed, just because cats don't have a super, super, super rounded nose like a bunny. There's my nose. It looks pretty lopsided. That looks a bit better. I look so funny. I had it, I, I've made it way too high. But that's alright. Now I'm just going to do a straight line down my cupid's bow. There you go, I brought it to a really, 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 really super fine tip just above the lip. I feel as if my nose is way too crooked and way too high up. Uh, I really wanted this to look good, but... So I'm going to put three little dots in a triangle. Oh, 
I went and got Coco and I've decided that yeah her nose <laughs> is totally different to mine so different okay so now I'm gonna do some lines using the small little liner brush and I'm just gonna go three strokes do 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 really really quickly So now I'm going to put something on the bottom lips, uh, what is it, Essence Lipstick in Coral Calling. A little bit too pink, might just dot it on. Okay, so I'm going to quickly take my hair out and then come back with the finished product. So this is the completed look. I've just taken all my hair down. I've pinned this side back. I just think it makes it look more glamorous with the side anyway. Anyway, um, how I curled my hair is I've curled it all one way and pinned it up. I mean apart from this I curled it to the right because that's how I wanted my fringe to go. Um, but I overestimated how <laughs> little these were compared to my fringe. But it's still good nonetheless. I really 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 like how this has turned out. I absolutely love how this turned out. Now that the hair's all done, it looks so good. That is the completed look there. I am so happy with this. You could even do a bunny if you've got little white fluffy ears. You could even make this into a bunny. It does not need to be a cat. But I am absolutely so happy with how it turned out. Let me know what you think down below. Also, if you like this video, obviously give it a thumbs up. Um, but yeah, that is the end. And I really hope you enjoyed it. And I'll see you again in my next video. Bye.